good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another beautiful blue sky spring morning i am in an excellent mood this morning for one of two reasons number one the weather today is just exactly what we want in may it's a little bit fresh in the air you've got the birds twittering away and it just feels so promising i always find that about spring you just have that like promising feeling so that is putting me in the best mood and number two we booked a holiday. I am so, so excited. You would have seen from all of my videos recently and all of the hauls that I've been doing, I am very ready to get into the holiday spirit. I'm very ready just to get a little bit of sun and get away. And Charlotte and I have been talking for ages about booking a bit of a girl's trip. And this weekend we decided just to sit down and get it booked and get it sorted. So we've actually booked a bit of a last minute holiday, which I've never booked a holiday so close before it's literally in two weeks but we've officially got it booked and i am so so excited to get a little bit of sunshine so we are going to Rhodes, which i am so excited about it's a gorgeous greek island that i've always always wanted to visit and i've only ever been to mainland greece and crete before which was another greek island that i absolutely loved and i really want to explore more greek islands because i've heard that they are just so beautiful and i do love like Greek culture, the food, the ambiance, the interiors, the architecture. I just absolutely love it. So I'm so, so excited to be going away on a girl's trip with Charlotte. We decided to make it like a bit of a mixture, like a bit of a girl's trip, a bit of an engagement celebration. I am really, really milking the engagement celebrations at the moment and just to be able to get a bit of sunshine. So I'm so, so excited. Now that the holiday is officially booked, I feel like I can start to properly get excited for summer. I feel like normally, as soon as it hits me, I'm like, right, summer mode. I'm ready for my summer shopping. I'm ready to plan holiday wardrobes. And I feel like this year it's been a bit delayed because of the weather. Like we've barely had spring yet. I feel like spring's only kind of just coming. It's been very, very late this year. And it means that I've not had a chance to properly get excited about summer now. But now that we've got the holiday booked, I am getting excited about it. And I won't lie, I placed a couple of orders. As soon as we booked the holiday, I was like, now I can start holiday shopping and planning my summer wardrobe. And I have so many gorgeous pieces. Everything arrived this morning and I'm so excited to unbox it with you guys because I feel like... I feel like I'm really upgrading my wardrobe at the moment with regards to my kind of like seasonal pieces. And I just want to make sure that I've got items that are really good to wear. They like get your cost per wear out of. They're really like timeless, classic, the kind of thing that I want to be wearing in my 20s, in my 30s, in my 40s and in my 50s. And I am so excited to show you what I have been picking up. We've got a lot to unbox. I've got a lot to show you because... I am getting very, very excited about this trip. So let's jump into it, grab yourself a cup of tea and I apologize in advance to your bank balance because there are so many gorgeous pieces. I cannot wait to show you. So first up, I have been doing a bit of accessories shopping. I feel like it's something that I've been wanting to upgrade within my wardrobe for this summer. And with regards to like shoes, bags, sunglasses, there is one place that I love shopping on and i'm so so excited to be working with on this video and that is charles and keith they have so many gorgeous pieces online at the moment for your spring summer wardrobe and i cannot wait to show you what i have been picking up and what's really really exciting is they've actually given me a discount code for you guys to use so all of the info along with the discount code will be down below in the description along to all the links to each item because i know there are so many pieces in here you guys are going to want to shop so i have not one but two massive boxes to unbox with you guys so let's jump straight in so i might have a new bag to unbox with you guys and you know what i'm like with regards to my summer handbags i have such a strict criteria with what i want to be adding into my wardrobe and there's something that i feel like it's been missing from my collection and when i saw this on charles and keith i just could not resist i was like that is the most perfect summer handbag that is 100 coming with me to Rhodes. i am just in love and look at how cute she is oh my word now there's one thing that i'm really really enjoying at the moment and that is the quiet luxury tread i'm really over big logos like ostentation hair bags i really like something that's just a little bit more subtle and a little bit more discreet and i really love how discreet the logo is on this you've just got the little charles and keith there it's kind of like a game of where's wally like you can barely see it unless you look close it's one of those bags that's like you don't know unless you know the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't and i feel like this handbag 
we get it look at how cute she is it's this tiny little adorable raffia bucket bag and i really really loved the fact that it had the white leather i feel like i've been really missing that kind of color within my summer wardrobe because you know i love my tans i've obviously got my tan handbags that i reach for a lot in summer and i really felt like i was missing something with this kind of colorway a bit more like light very very summery and of course this ticks a lot of my boxes number one it even has feet which i really like but it's like not heavy so it's not actually a heavy handbag at all like for a raffia handbag this is so lightweight which i really really like but it has feet which is going to protect it underneath it's obviously got the gorgeous raffia with the white leather it of course has this top handle bag that i've been holding but it also has a cute little cross body bag which i really really like so it means it's really easy to wear i do find when i'm on holiday like you know when you're wandering the markets you're I don't know, going out for dinner and you just want to have a walk around. I always want a crossbody bag so I don't have to worry about like holding it and like keeping it close to me. So I really like the fact that it has both of those handbags. And I love the fact that it's got the drawstrings. It means it's a really, really safe handbag. You're not worried about like anyone putting their hands in or anything like that. You can keep everything very nice and secure. And I have had some really expensive handbags that don't come with like a drawstring handbag attached into it. So I really, really like the fact that it has the drawstring bag with it. You can obviously take it out if you do want to use the bag just as is. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that's like a little zip pocket inside that's so fab so you can put like your cards or anything like that you want to keep a little bit more secure but you've obviously also got the little dust bag that goes inside as well and i just think it is one of the cutest handbags i have ever ever seen you can bet that i'm going to be using this so so much this summer can we also just take a minute for the fact that all of these shoes and bags come in at the most gorgeous dust bags? I love that, especially when it comes to packing for a holiday because there's nothing worse than when you're trying to pack your shoes and maybe like a little bit dusty at the bottom, a little bit dirty, and they end up like touching your clothes. So I love the fact that I can pack every single pair of shoes individually compared to everything else. So I picked up this pair of shoes and I'm not gonna lie, Charles and Keith, are very clever because these were actually under the suggested underneath that handbag and I saw them and I was like, those? are gorgeous they're not like anything else i have in my wardrobe they're not the most me shoe in the world if i'm being completely honest but i kind of just fell in love with them anyway and it's a gorgeous pair of raffia chunky flip-flops i mean look at these and i was picturing these with the raffia handbag like a cute little black body contrast for like more of an evening look i feel like when it comes to holiday shoes it can be really really tricky because you maybe want to wear like heels you want to wear something a little bit elevated but it's still very much casual daytime and especially somewhere like roads i can imagine there's a lot of cobblestone streets you're not going to be wanting stilettos you're not even really going to be wanting a block heel something like this where it's like a really secure wedge is the only thing that i feel like you could really ever wear and i just fell in love with the linen effect on it i just love it again we've got really really subtle branding you've just got the little charles and keith logo there which i really really like and i just thought the colors of this were gorgeous it's got this piping running through it which is like a beautiful nude color they did actually come in a couple of other colors so i will leave them linked down below as well but for me it had to be the nude and it had to be the raffia okay next up are a pair of shoes that i feel like answer all of my prayers with regards to this trend and that is the chunky sandal trend now i used to love the chunky sandal trend and i kind of went off it for a while because i felt like i just couldn't find any that felt like me and really like represented my like feminine style and that kind of like feminine silhouette that i really like and then i saw these on charles and keith and i had to stop myself from buying both colorways and i literally was like ellie you can't buy both you've just got to pick one and you guys are not ready for these oh my goodness i mean look at those they've got the most gorgeous little pearl detailing running through them and i just love them so they're like a slider type sandal and i really really liked that about them love this white piping that runs through it as well these literally look like you can add two zeros on the end of the price tag like they are so so gorgeous and they're really lightweight as well so they're going to be super comfy to wear whilst we're away on holiday and i love the fact that they're this like chunky and androgynous sandal with this really feminine styling to it that to me just felt so quintessentially me and i can imagine like walking down to the pool in the wearing these with like my cute summer dresses i think they are just gorgeous and as i said they also came in a different color way they had white with like black piping but i refrained i had a word with myself and i only bought one but guys i think you need the white ones as well okay we have another bag to unbox now this i feel like is going to be the perfect evening bag for when you're away on holiday and this is like a trendy bag that has been around for a while and again i feel like i've never been able to find one that feels very me you know what i'm like when it comes to styling as much as i love following trends i love having fun with my style i always want things to kind of reflect my true personal style and this bag i felt like does and i just fell 
in love with it it's this gorgeous little 90s style shoulder bag oh my goodness me and just look at the detailing that runs through it like look at this gold hardware with a little pearl in it oh my word this is just absolutely stunning i'm picturing this again like on an evening with a cute little pair of sandals a black dress just going down for dinner when all you need to carry is like your phone your wallet and maybe a lip gloss like that's all you need and i just think this is so so gorgeous and again this really subtle branding that charles and keith do is just something that i absolutely love it's really really subtle and i love the gold hardware it's quite a like antique gold which i think is really nice it's not too like garish not too ostentatious it's just like a beautiful rustic gold detail and obviously if you wear the bag this way you'll get that beautiful detailing in the strap i've not seen anything like this out there at the moment and i just thought it was so so beautiful and a gorgeous bag to add into my collection now let's talk sunglasses obviously we need a gorgeous pair of sunglasses for summer and i saw these on charles and keith and i just could not resist can we also just talk about the gorgeous gorgeous sunglass case that they come in but oh, these i fell in love with and i think we're all gonna agree they are so me i mean look at this how stunning they've got this gorgeous kind of like cat eye detail and they did also come in like a black version but i really really like this kind of like brown tan version i find it's a little bit softer on my skin type and softer on my features which is what i really really liked and i love the fact that, again the branding is super subtle and i feel like they are just the kind of sunglasses that you can wear in your 20s, you can wear in your 30s, you can wear in your 40s, you can wear in your 50s. Like, I really, really love this, like, ageless design of them. I think they are so, so gorgeous. So I think these are going to be the kind of sunglasses that I keep in my collection for the rest of my life. Okay, now these last two shoes, I'm not going to lie, are same, same, but different. I couldn't resist, but I felt like they were both filling big gaps in my wardrobe. And it's something I've really, really realised recently is how much I love a loafer. I love being able to just slip the shoes on, whether that's, like, going in and out of the house, going into the garden. And I didn't have any in this colour and i can't remember who it was that i saw on instagram but someone was wearing a gorgeous pair of black loafers with like this white summery dress and i just thought it was so so gorgeous so i just had to pick these up from charles and keith and again look at the subtle branding to it like it just has the tiniest little bit here which i really like and i love the fact that it had silver hardware because obviously everything else from charles and keith at the moment has had like gold hardware and i am a silver girl through and through so i love the fact that it had the silver i think it works really really well with the black of the loafer but i feel like these are just going to work so beautifully with just summer dresses here in the uk when i'm just going in and out of the house i want something super easy to slip on i thought they were absolutely gorgeous and i also picked them up in the raffia because i felt like these were giving a little bit more like spring summer vibes i love this tan strip that it has running across it. and again it's got the silver hardware which i think is so so gorgeous they're so not like any other loafers i've seen i love this like square toe that it's got running through it and i just think they are absolutely gorgeous i really really love how it's this like classic shoe but obviously raffia is a little bit more of like a trend fabric for summer so it's a really great way of incorporating those really classic designs with a little bit more of a trendy element yeah. so i would just show you what some of the pieces look like on because i feel like it's always really nice to get a little bit of a gauge of like sizing and styling i'm just going to put them with the dress that i am wearing it today so it's a gorgeous little river island number and i feel like all of these bits are going to go with a little white dress like this so for reference in terms of foot size i'm like a three and a half so i've got all of the these shoes in a size UK four or a 37 um, European size and the sandals fit perfectly I love them they are like really sturdy they feel very secure like it doesn't feel like you're gonna flop about they're not the kind of sandals where as you're walking you can really like hear them flop like they very much are attached to your feet which is what I really really like and they give me a really good bit of height I feel very tall right now I mean obviously because I'm in the mirror you guys won't notice any difference but for me I'm like oh I feel like higher than I usually am and I love the natural tones of the sandals I think they're just so so gorgeous and it goes so beautifully with the bag I mean how cute is this obviously I will use the crossbody for as I said when we're like going around markets having a wander around the island but just for like styling I just love it when you're just holding the top handle it's just adorable I think they have this in another color so if they do I'll link it down below but for me the white just goes so so perfectly with this outfit and I feel like I've really been missing like a white raffia handbag from my wardrobe and these two pieces paired together the sandals with the bag I just think are the cutest little holiday accessories I am so in love isn't it insane how much your accessories can just completely change your outfit obviously I'm wearing the exact same dress but I've just changed the shoes and the bag and it kind of takes it from something a bit more like cutesy and girly to something a little bit more 
I don't know, I really love this like monochromatic juxtaposition of the accessories with the dress. I think it's really, really gorgeous. It kind of elevates the look a little bit more. And these sandals, oh my word, I am so, so in love with them. I really do feel like this is everything I've been looking for in a summer sandal. Like they're chunky, they're a bit androgynous, but obviously they've got the gorgeous pearl detailing running through them. And I love them with a dress like this where they just kind of poke out underneath and they actually look a little bit more formal than I was expecting because they're a bit more of like a rubbery material. I thought they'd be very everyday very casual but actually I think they look really cute especially paired with a little 90s bag I think this just looks so so gorgeous love the fact that you can see this like detailing I really like that they haven't continued it all the way around because I think it would make the bag a bit too heavy and it wouldn't be so comfortable on your shoulder so you've obviously got the comfort of the leather on your shoulder but the beauty of the detailing and I really really like that and I love how the bag looks on your shoulder I think it's just so so cute and again they just pair it so beautifully together like I didn't even do it deliberately with these two but the blacks just work so so well with the white dress it's giving me like summer like monochromatic very very like quiet luxury and I really really like that about this look I think it's just so cute now these loafers are definitely giving me like UK kind of just like casual summer vibes they're a bit more structured than I was expecting like they're very secure which I really really like actually so again they're not the kind of thing where you're going to be like flopping and you can like really really hear them they feel so so well made which I really really like that about them and the raffiatness of them I feel like just ties it in with a more summery look which I really like and this like detailing with the and strap across the top. I've not seen anything like that with any loafers out there. So I think they are such a gorgeous and pair. Lastly, we've got the gorgeous little black loafers. And I love how different each of these accessories is making this outfit. Like the same dress, a different accessories just changes the vibe so, so much. Like this actually to me, is kind of giving workwear vibes, but like in a good way. I always get questions from you guys about like office attire and like outfits for work and things like that. And I feel like these shoes are perfect for the summer. If you have to go into the office and you have to maintain you know a little bit of professionalism just with like a pretty dress like this I think it works really really well I know I've paired it with the little shoulder bag but I would just wear like a big you know work bag instead and I think it would work so beautifully I definitely think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these loafers they're super comfy super secure and they look so so gorgeous so really happy with how much everything's like tying in with my spring summer wardrobe I feel like I really have like nailed my accessories shoe bag and sunglass wardrobe now all thanks to Charles and Keith. If any of you have ever been to Rhodes before and have any recommendations for where to go, what to eat, what to do, do let us know because obviously we've literally just booked the trip. We haven't organized anything from like day to day with that for five days, which I feel like is a really, really good amount of time. And whenever I go to new places, like new countries, new cities, you guys always come through with the recommendations. Like you always have the best places to go and eat, for what to do and all of that jazz. So let me know down below if you've ever been to Rhodes, if you have any really good recommendations because we haven't organized any of that yet. I have organized my summer wardrobe there, or at least I've started planning my summer wardrobe, which I do actually have some cute clothes to show you as well. I place a little warehouse haul for some pieces that I think will make really great holiday dresses. So I've also been doing a little bit of shopping on Warehouse, which I feel like is one of those brands that just have so many gorgeous, like timeless summer pieces to add into your wardrobe. And this first dress was the dress that just made me place the order. I saw this on Instagram, someone was wearing this and I fell in love. Like if this isn't the perfect evening dress to wear when you're away on holiday. I don't know what is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is kind of like halter neck silk dress with this beautiful detailing running down. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's kind of like ruched, which I really, really love with silk dresses because sometimes they can kind of sit in places you don't want them to. So the ruching really helps to create that silhouette and create that gorgeous figure with the dress. I mean, I think this is just going to be so perfect for all the evening meals, the cocktails, the drinks that we're going to have planned when we go to Rose. Oh my word, look at this dress oh this is just everything i hoped for and more everything i hoped for and more is so so beautiful first of all the neckline is like nothing i've ever seen i really love the fact that it's kind of like a bodycon type boob tube but obviously you've got the little spaghetti straps to kind of hold you up i think it's really really elegant and i love the way that it kind of like comes out with your shoulders i think it's beautiful the ruching just really helps to cinch in your waist and create such a lovely silhouette and i didn't notice but it actually has like slits either side so you can kind of like have your leg stick out 
out, which is stunning because obviously it gives that beautiful movement with the dress. It shows a little bit of skin, but it's not too much. You know what I mean? Like I really, really love the fact that from the front, it kind of just looks like a plain bodycon silk dress. But then once you look closely, it's when you start to see all the little details. And I've just paired it exactly how I would want to wear it whilst we are away with the little like um, platform flip flops and the gorgeous little basket bag. And I think this works so, so well. What I really like about these accessories actually is I think it makes it more of like an evening holiday look you know when you want to look nice and dressed up for holiday like when you're going out for dinner but you don't want to you don't want to be that person that's just gone way too ott and i feel like these make it a bit more like pared down a little bit more casual but still really elevated and perfect for an evening look i just love how these all pair together i think it's so so beautiful and i've got another black dress to show you and if you guys know me well you'll know i'm never adverse to black for summer i feel like especially depending on how you're styling it it can work really really well if you incorporate those like more natural kind of fibers within your accessorizing i think dresses like this work so beautifully and when i saw this i just fell in love it's this really gorgeous long sleeve kind of smock style linen s dress with a gorgeous floral detail running through i love this embroidery detail it's just so so beautiful and this dress the thing that really made me fall for it is it's backless i just love that about it with regards to my summer wardrobe you guys know that i do love to cover up a little bit like i like having my shoulders covered i like making sure that the materials i'm wearing are really nice and flowy but still there's like a lot of material there because i burn so easily i'd rather just make sure that my shoulders are covered and make sure that i've got something covering my arms rather than having to like duck in and out of the sun all of the time and this dress i just thought was such a perfect holiday dress to take with me to greece another summer outfit that i am absolutely obsessed with this dress it's just so so gorgeous and i've actually styled up with the same accessories and it kind of shows how this bag and these shoes can kind of be taken from day to night like this is very much a daytime look i feel like it really helps to bring the dress into more of like a summer piece as well obviously love black for summer but you do have to be careful with what you're styling it with and i do feel like it really really helps we've got these more like natural tones natural fibers these kind of like lighter fabrics to bring the black dress into a more summery piece now it's a little bit less smocked than i was expecting like the bodice actually beautiful it's a little bit more fitted which i think is so so lovely and of course we've got the lovely open back detail behind which i really really like the more i'm looking at it though the more i'm like is this a holiday dress or is this a UK dress let me know what you think down below but with the accessories I think it just works so well and if I like it I'll just get it in another color now this dress is like same same but different it's got a lot of similar kind of design details the fact that it's got like this gorgeous open back the big balloon sleeves and this stunning like smock silhouette this really like flowy silhouette but it's a bit different in terms of like the bodice it's basically just a lot plainer which I actually really really liked and the detailing that running through it I really love this embroidered detail but I kind of wish that it was blue instead of green because I feel like blue is just a little bit more Grecian. But I just thought this was another really, really gorgeous dress. This is the perfect thing just to chuck on when you're going wandering around the markets, exploring the island a little bit more. It's just like so easy to style, easy to wear, and one of those classic summer dresses that never goes out of style. Another beautiful holiday dress. Oh my word, this is just stunning. As I said, I thought it was going to be completely the same as the black one, but actually it's so different. And I paired this one with the little sandals because this is very much just like a daytime wandering around exploring at the island and seeing what's what and the kind of dress that's just perfect to wear when you are on holiday because it's just so loose so flowy again we've got this gorgeous like open back detail it's always so difficult to show you an open back in the mirror but i really really love the open back of this one and i think it's just such a beautiful silhouette i love the square neckline and these huge huge sleeves as i said the one thing i wish is that the embroidery was blue instead of green but i do still think the green works super super well with the linen fabric final holiday dress that i just fell in love with is this stunning smock detail again i'm really loving the more like smock silhouettes at the moment i feel like especially when you're going to a really hot country you just want as little like touching you as possible and when i saw the shift dress I just fell in love with it. It's like a really, really gorgeous flowy silhouette and like flowy material and love the fact that there is literally no design details on this dress. It's just a tank silhouette and it goes straight down to like a mini star. And I love that about it. I feel like it's just so understated and yet elegant. I really, really loved it about it. And it's a bit of like a more off-white color, which personally I find more flattering on my skin. It's a little bit warmer for my skin type. And as someone who definitely is going to have to fake tan when she goes away, I appreciate 
anything that warms my skin up even more. So this dress, I just think, is such a beautiful one. I actually love this dress and I'm very aware that it's not really like anything else I have in my wardrobe. There's no design elements to it, no details, but I just think it's so perfect when you just want something so simple. It's absolutely boiling hot and I feel like the accessories are what's kind of pulling it up. Love the sandals with it. The like pearl details go really, really well with the white of the dress and the kind of piping, I think really pulls it all together. And then to elevate the look, I've just gone for the little shoulder bag and I think it really, really helps just to pull the look all together and make it a little bit less like I don't want it to look like I've not made an effort and I've not thought about it. Like I feel like the accessories really help to pull it up a little bit. So actually I think this dress is definitely going to be staying in my wardrobe. I feel like all the other dresses I've been showing you have followed a bit of a theme. They're very like understated, quite classic, very tonal. Well, we have a wild card and this is the only dress that wasn't kind of for the holiday. This is more of like a UK summertime British dress, but I just thought it was so, so beautiful. I couldn't not add it into my basket. And I do sometimes love throwing in these like brighter, more wild card dresses. I feel like this is just so perfect for summertime in the UK when you're going to garden parties, when you're hanging out with friends at the weekend, going shopping, going for picnics. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. It's a stunning like bright red, orange and yellow dress. And I loved the neckline on this. These like frill details, I think are just so so, so gorgeous. So a little bit of a wild card, but still a dress that I think is absolutely beautiful. And lastly, a beautiful summer in the British countryside type dress. I can imagine someone wearing this like Wimbledon or something. It just screams summer in the UK to me. And I love it paired with the loafers and the little straw bag. I think they work so, so well together. Really help to like pull in those summer vibes and summer tones. And I love the silhouette of it. It's got this really, really gorgeous ruching that really pulls in your waist so ending on a high with a beautiful dress for here in the UK just come in here because the light that hits our bedroom the late afternoon early evening is literally just my favorite thing in the world I mean look at the blue skies that we are being served today oh my goodness me it is getting me so so excited for our holiday and today has just really excited me with regards to my summer wardrobe planning getting prepped and getting organized i feel like there's been a lot of newness in today's video so i think i'm going to leave it here but i really hope you guys enjoyed unboxing all the pieces styling them all up and planning my summer wardrobe with me don't forget to use my discount code if you are looking to shop anything at charles and keith they really do have the most gorgeous pieces in for spring summer to just like complete your summer accessories wardrobe and all of the links will be down below in the description box so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one Mwah. love you bye